Hi Taurus, this is Hayley from Pleiadian Mystique. Welcome to my channel. Just have a few um, things that I usually run through at the start of my readings, like the fact that these readings are date specific. Um, if you'd like to get updates on where my readings are posted, I'm doing them weekly now. So hit the subscribe button. Um, these readings are you versus them scenarios. Use your own discernment to uh, see how the the messages may apply to your current situation. You don't necessarily have to be in the sun sign, but read my description on my videos. It gives you more information about my services and the energy readings that I do. And you can ha find the link to my website if you want to find out more information or donate to my channel at my PayPal account if you'd like to do an energy exchange. Okay, so anyway, um, in saying that, let's get started. What's currently happening in your life, Taurus? What do you need guidance on? What is the current energy of your circumstances? Knight of Cups. Oh, this is beautiful. So you're thinking about um, rushing in and being a Romeo, Taurus. Um, so I feel like you've removed some sort of mask here. I know this is a, a stingray, but if you look at this picture, it looks a little bit like a masquerade mask. And to me, this always comes through to me um, as a um, someone has ripped the mask off and they um, are moving forward at a very fast pace towards someone that they have their eye on. It's like you have your heart's, you have your heart's desire within reach and you've, you're kind of setting um, forward to go after what it is that you love. And there's a lot of emotions here, a lot of love here. So it's like the Romeo card of the deck. It's beautiful. So there's someone that has really caught your eye, Taurus, and you're feeling like you're finally ready to take a risk and take um, open up your heart to love and take the initiative and, you know, just just roll the dice and, and see what happens and be honest about your feelings. Um, I'm feeling that um, you might not have expressed your true feelings towards this person in the past, but now you're kind of like feeling a bit better and you're just like, what have I got to lose? Like, you're probably in a situation here where you don't have anything to lose except this person. And um, what's a couple of um, minutes of, you know, of pure honesty and vulnerability instead of being stuck in a lifetime of regret and fear. And I feel like that is what this card represents in the tarot. It's like someone who's just completely courageous and brave and they're just, you know, laying it all out on the line for love. And that is, to me, a true masculine energy, a true man you know someone that just um believes in love and goes after it like a romeo you know not these like type of connections that are you know physically instant gratif instantly gratifying this is a true love that you're going for and nothing's gonna stop you it's beautiful so it's like romeo has found his juliet and he is ready to make her a little bit of a romantic Offer. So this could be um, a, a sweet like text message um, inviting her on a date and this can also be flipped guys it's not gender specific because I'm a female I'm gonna speak in masculine fe feminine energy and if you're in the LGBT community you know how, how their energy will resonate so just flip it. Um, just flip it how it um, would it resonate for your situation. Anyway back to the reading so Romeo's found his Juliet. He is ready to rush in and declare his love. So you might be wanting to offer her a date, take her out for dinner. I feel like you're coming in correct. You're, I feel like you've thought long and hard about this and you're ready to give her the offer that this beautiful lady, your beautiful Juliet, deserves. All right, so let's get a clarifier with this card. Find out what else is happening um, in terms of love here. For you to love birds. Oh, you want to heal the situation. So as I was sensing before, there might have been um, some, um, there might have been some fear in the past that kept the two of you apart. 
But now you want to come in, you want to make amends, you want to make things right, and you want to get back to this playful, happy energy that the two of you might have shared at one point. Maybe in the past you, um, like I was saying, didn't express your true feelings for this person, and that might might have caused a lot of confusion um, and also potentially heartbreak here. But you want to come in and you want to remove the mask, you want to be honest, you want to express yourself honestly, and you want to mend and heal the situation in case the other person is hurting because of your past actions so it's really beautiful energy so there's a bit of healing that will happen from this and um, what's interesting is that you know uh, love heals everything so this is the right definitely the right energy to be in if you've if you've really done wrong by somebody and you still have feelings for them you know bringing love back into the situation is always the way it's always the way you need to release ego and pride and you know not come in from a place of fear and just love is the highest vibration that we can be in so love is the biggest healer in terms of anything in our lives so once we love ourselves you know we um, have healed from all our past pain that is when we can truly love someone else so I feel like there's been a lot of healing that's taken place within yourself and possibly the other person and now it's time to come together and heal the connection so that's beautiful there might also be some healing from the divine because we have these beautiful fairies that are um, working on this and there's a like a cloud here so the universe might be helping you heal the situation um, and these little angels are here sending you divine healing through light and sound as possible as well um, or even Reiki energy, but definitely the connection between the two of you is being restored. So let's get a message from the universe and what they would like you to know. Yeah, so I feel like in the past you didn't um, make this a connection a priority, Taurus. I feel like you might have spent time with friends or family or you know how people are like, yeah, the boys and did all, do all those like boys type activities and you didn't really make this connection a priority. And I don't think it was the right time for you because I feel like you were going through a healing process as well. And I feel like you didn't want to have a commitment at this point in time. So you didn't prioritize this connection. Um, but I feel like you've taken the time to reevaluate your priorities and the things that you want in life. And I think you're ready for love now. And maybe in the past you weren't ready. So you've reevaluated your priorities and you want to prioritize this person. You want to show them that you care you want to express your true feelings and you want to heal the connection in the situation. Um, but there's been a lot of self-reflection from both ends, I'm sensing, and this um, connection has been reevaluated. You've been doing a lot of thinking and you're ready to prioritize love in your life, which is beautiful, Taurus. All right, so the other person, what is their energy? <laughs> so I feel like in the past the other person um, was willing to give you a chance and be the fool and take a leap of faith but because you hesitated um, you may have caused this person to withdraw and I feel like this person is kind of like reassessing now and they're like oh I was a bit foolish in the past because I just wanted to dive in and you know take a leap of faith towards this connection and it didn't really work in their favor so um this card to me signifies someone who previously was open previously was trusting previously was ready for love um but they they've received a bit of a from you they received a bit of a like jolt backwards because it was like oh Okay, that's not what I expected. So this person went in with really good intentions, tried to have no fear, tried to be open to the connection, tried to take a leap of faith towards you to, to make you see that they were they were willing and they were trying and they were open and that they really um, had strong feelings for you. But I'm sensing that you 
freaked out and pushed this person away. And so then they were like, see how like this is about like 360 degree turns. So you can see like this person has, you know, they're going in that direction, they're ready. Um, but I feel like when it's this way, you've completely pushed them back like a boomerang the way that they came and now they're facing with their back towards you. They're not facing the connection anymore. They're kind of like orbiting in space. Like I feel like they haven't fully put their feet on the ground. They were, they were a little bit, I feel like this other energy was a little bit more of a believer than you were in love and the universe and like to live in fantasy world and believe that dreams can come true so they were more optimistic I'm getting a more of an optimistic energy where this person was like have no fear I'm doing this and then you kind of brought them back down a peg a back down a notch because you just were like no boom back like blasted them back in another direction um and I feel like they haven't fully put their feet on the ground because they don't want to be that person. They want to be a hopeless romantic. They want to believe in love. They want to have true love in their life. And they don't want to be bitter and morbid like everyone else. So this person is just orbiting, orbiting right now, doesn't want to come back down to reality. They want to actually believe that you're going to come and offer them, you know, the love that they deserve. They, um, they feel like you've turned their world upside down is what I'm getting. And I feel like, they were a little bit like starry eyed towards you. You did, you did hurt this person because you did jolt them back into a different direction that they weren't expecting. Um, but I do, I do sense that um, there is going to be some communication coming through between the two of you that's going to give you all, both the answers that you're seeking. Um, and I'm also getting that this could be divine timing as well because we have an hour, hour glass, uh, hourglass here. So it could be divine timing that is assisting the two of you um, in coming back together. So I'll get another card though to see what else this person's energy is in terms of your connection. Yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting because it's like this person's not putting their feet back on the ground. They're not going... You're very earthly and this person is not earthly. So the building blocks card being in reverse to me signifies someone that just doesn't want to go back down to earth. They do not want to... Um, they do not want to be um, like everybody else and be programmed into believing that this was not real. They want to end that old way of thinking and they're just refusing to give up on love. This person's beautiful energy. The person is like, I am not going back down to earth. I was right about this. There was something there. There's some connection. I know it. It's just they're scared. They're holding back. I know it. I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm following my heart. I'm following my intuition. Yes, we might not have a firm foundation right now, but I do believe that this person's just holding back and this person does actually love me. Um, and this person's very determined and it's actually beautiful because this other person and this other energy is not giving up on true love, not giving up on um, their faith in the universe. They might have like been damaged by you and rejecting them, but maybe they um, are at a place where they know that you you need healing. You've been healing. They have been healing. Um and a lot of healing was just taking place before you could come together. And they also understand that you were damaged. And I feel like they know that you needed time. Um, but they're not ready to go back down to earth and accept that this is over, <laughs> which is beautiful. All right. So you may have a chance here, Romeo, with your Juliet. She may still believe in your love. That's what I guess the message is that's coming through. So I feel like this person thinks that maybe they were a little bit full on in the beginning. Like they might have been a little bit intense for you. And maybe they shouldn't have come on so strong. So I'm sensing like they were like so open, so eager. And they might have come on way too strong for you. And they're realizing, shit, I should have been a little bit less intense. And maybe this person is an intense person. It's an intense connection, it's an intense love and it might have just hit you both really hard whereas this person 
embraced it a lot more. And you, Mr. Romeo, um, you were too damaged and, um, you know, caught up in your pain to believe in love again. And I think the whole thing, the whole experience freaked you out. So you just legged it. And this person realized, oh shit, I need to just ground myself because this person's not very grounded. They're not very earthly. They're very um air, very air, very um water. Um, mainly air is what I'm getting here, and I'm sensing that this person does not do things in moderation. They don't half ass shit. They, they're like it's all or nothing for them. So I feel like this person kind of had to learn their own cycle here, of um just just chilling and taking a step back a little bit. Um, and taking things a bit slower. I feel like you wanted to take things slow, but this person was like 100 miles an hour jumping into your arms and you're like, whoa, this is too much. So this person learnt their own lesson. They reflected on themselves and, you know, I think maybe there was some sort of abandonment wounding in this particular section and maybe this was reflected back to the other person because you shut them off emotionally and they needed to heal some type of abandonment wounds because um, this person rushed in, they were open and they didn't want to lose the connection and they had a fear of losing you due to abandonment issues from like possible childhood or inner child issues so I feel like that's what was needing to be healed here and then in your situation you weren't you were avoiding your feelings and weren't prioritizing love um, and I feel like you you were placing important on importance on material wealth um, superficial connections and materialistic things and people that didn't serve you and your highest good and you, you needed to spiritually evolve. So between the two of you, there was a lot of healing that this connection triggered and um, it has taken place and I feel like it's now coming around full circle and you guys are both in a different place that you were before. Um, and I feel like that is why, you know, you want to come forward and approach the situation. So I'm going to take this over to the extended now to find out, you know, exactly what's going to happen with this Romeo, what he's going to um, approach you with um, his feelings for you, how he views you and I'm going to see um, exactly what's coming for you guys in the future and whether this beautiful Juliet is going to accept his offer and take another a leap of faith and be able to take things a bit slower and build a solid foundation and like come back down to earth a little bit and meet you halfway. So I feel like to conclude this reading we have two very very compatible people here that have both got very different views one's very earthly one's very dreamy and I feel like the two of you once you you meet in the middle you'll have a really solid relationship but it's just meeting in the middle <laughs> finding that like balance of gravity where you guys can orbit in the same type of um vibration I guess is what, what what's coming through here but divine timing is definitely at play here so all the best with your connection guys if you want to take this a bit further with me the um extended reading is in the description below if not have a lovely day and thanks for joining me this far bye